recording. Uh, this is uh, the first vlog, um, the gardening vlog that I'm doing, um, the pretty village of Stoke Bruin. Uh, it's a lovely canal village and we're facing the same challenges as everybody else is in the country and the world with lockdown but uh, at the same time it's a great opportunity to actually spend more time in the garden where things are growing and not just the hair but things like hellebores. I mean giving it the beginning of April uh, these are doing fabulously well. A uh, recent addition to uh, the Dove Cottage Garden. So we'll be going around the garden and showing you some pictures of things that are in late spring flower, getting ready for summer, bulbs coming up, what to do in preparing the greenhouse and other subjects like you know getting closer to nature with all the things that are visiting the garden in these very quiet times when actually nobody else is visiting the garden so i uh, hopefully hopefully you'll like it and uh, look forward to updating you on a weekly basis thanks for now bye bye we're in the greenhouse. Lots of jobs to do uh, in April and the first one I've done is actually rescue the house plants we've managed to overwinter. Uh, there's geranium and repotted and lots of compost in there and it's already uh, flowering and smells fresh and uh, that might actually be two plants in there so they'll probably get split out which leads me on to the next job and Got an array of vegetables and seedlings. It's a really good time to seed now. You haven't lost uh, lost out yet. You're still able to seed stuff, especially the uh, later vegetables. Um, these are actually courgettes. Uh, we've got three in a pot, and they will get split out a little bit early uh, to go out yet. Probably not ready to go into uh, the raised bed for another four weeks or so into May. Uh, but they're going to need to be split out, as are things like uh, squashes and the cucumbers. They're all a little bit early to go out because there's still a risk of frost. After the super moon last night, I think uh, clear skies, the temperatures dropped down. So uh, things are still in the greenhouse being protected. And uh, last job here uh, was actually we're very fortunate that we got some cuttings from uh, Montana clematis. And this one's actually flowered, there's a couple more down there. But now, they, as soon as they flower, they're also ready to vigorously grow. So they've got to be caned and trained up there. Uh, that's what they like to do. Uh, again, the sun is up. It's April and uh, lots of jobs to do outside. And probably a bit of pruning to do. Uh, it's not too late to actually prune fruit trees in particular. Um, stop them from getting too congested branches overlapping each other and what have you. And uh, that will help prevent disease. So that's it for now and then uh, we'll move on and uh, give you some more tips for the week. <laughs> 